Welcome students. In the previous class, we learnt about the square root of the polynomials using factorization method. I hope you all understood well. Okay. So today we are going to learn about the same square root of polynomials by using long division method. You learnt about it in the lower class, right? Yes, the same. But you learnt for only numbers. Now the same procedure we are going to uh, put into for polynomials. Okay. Shall we go into the class? First we will recall those numbers then we will go to the polynomials. Okay, right. See the first question. 1225. 1, 2, 2, 5. So first what you have to check? We have to pair the given numbers from your right. Now see this. From your right you have to start 25 pair it. Next 12 pair it. So we have to take first 2 digits that means 12. Okay. So you have to find the square root of 12. Do you have square root of 12? Yes, very good. No. So we have to take 3 3s are 9. So that 3 should be returned in the place of divisor and at the same time in the place of quotient also. Now see this 3 3s are 9. Write down. Then what is the next step? We have to subtract the term. So when you subtract, the symbol will be changed. That means 12 minus 9. 12 minus 9 is nothing but what? 3. Then what is the next step? You have to bring down next 2 digits down. Then the question will be 325. Now see this 325. How can I find the square root for 325? What is the next step? Yes, very good. So, what is the quotient in the pla uh, place of quotient? 3. So, that 3 should be multiplied by 2. What will you get? Of course, 6. 3 2s are what? 6. That should be written here. Why did I return here? Why did I leave a gap? I have to introduce one more number there. So, you have to leave a gap here. Then you have to write the 6. What is the next step then? How should I find it? See what number I have to apply here to get 325. It's a, there is a small trick to find it. See the last digit is what? 5. I should apply the same number here in the place of divisor and in the same place and the same number in the place of quotient also. So what number if I multiply twice the last digit must be 5. Very good children 5. So I have to apply 5 here and in the quotient also. Now take this 5 and multiply the 65. What will you get? 5 5s are 25. Remainder 2. 5 6 are 30. Add this 2 with this. You will be getting 32. Now did you get 325? Yes. Again we have to subtract it. If you subtract you will be getting 0. That means it is a perfect square. The remainder is 0 means the number will be called as what? Perfect square. So what is the answer for square root of 1, 2, 2, 5? It is plus or minus 35. But that should be written in modulus form. So modulus of 35. Therefore, square root of 1, 2, 2, 5 is nothing but modulus of 35. This already you learned. I know. But how we are going to take this concept, how you are going to apply the same concept into the polynomials. Before you go to the polynomials, you have to remember one thing. What's that? Whether the given polynomial is in the uh, form of ascending order or descending order. Why we should use the long division method? Why don't you use the same factorization method? Of course you can use, but in the factorization method it is applicable only for the degree Two. That means only for quadratic equation that factorization method is very easy. But when the degree is higher than 2 that means the polynomial which is having higher degree that time you have to use long division method. Then the long division method is very easy to find the answer for the polynomial. Okay. Now listen. See the degree of the equation? 4. Yes of course. This is what? more than a degree 2. That's why we are using long division method. 
before you go to that method you have to ensure that whether the uh, for question should be in the form of a uh, standard form that means either the degree must be in the ascending order or descending order okay shall we go into the polynomial yes correct now listen so what i have to do the same procedure only little bit different that's all it's very easy to learn children next now see that you have to start from your right side from your right you have to pair the terms that means last two terms you have to pair then next two terms you have to pair towards left you have to go okay remember next the at last i have only 121 x to the power 4 i have to find the square root for only 121 x to the power 4 what is the square root of 121 very good 11 right x to the power 4 x square so i should write 11 x squared in the divisor place at the same time you have to write this uh, 11 x squared in the quotient place also are you clear right now 11 11s are 121 x squared into x squared x to the power 4 so you'll be getting 121 x to the power 4 what's the next step of course you have to subtract no you know very good so when you subtract the symbol will change suppose this is in the form of the positive you have to write negative suppose it is in negative you have to write it as positive right now you have to do the calculation it will be cancelled because there is nothing will be there you will be getting only zero next leave it next you have to bring down next two terms together as what we have done in the numbers okay now listen minus 198 x cube minus 183 x square that's all children next how should i find what should, what is my next step correct see the quotient place what is there 11x square that 11x square should be multiplied by 2 the constant 2 when you multiply 11 with 2 what will you get 22 x square is same there is no change in the variable so you have to write remember when you write you have to leave a gap to introduce a new number so that i am writing 22 x squared why it is 22 because i have multiplied 2 with the quotient 11 so 11 twos are 22 x squared okay so you have to divide this minus 198 x cube by 22 x squared so when you divide you have to cancel this x squared and x cube what will you get x very good and if you divide this minus 198 by 22 it will be what how many times of 22 is minus 198 of course it is 9 the 2 minus 9 okay cancel it what will you get minus 9 x so that is what the new term what you are going to introduce there so i have to write minus 9 x in the divisor place and at the same time in the quotient also so minus 9 x is it okay right now what should i do next take this new term minus 9 x and multiply these two terms and write here see minus into plus is nothing but what minus 9 into 22 198 x cube and minus into minus plus 99s are 81 x into x x squared then what i have to do this term should be this polynomial should be subtracted from this term so when you subtract the symbol will be changed because it is negative that's why i have written positive it is positive plus that's why i have uh, I have written minus are you clear next so when i do the calculation this will be cancelled there is nothing as usual zero how we have got in the previous step see when you subtract you will be getting zero as what we have got in the previous step come to the next one next term see both or minus symbol what should i do i should add the numbers so you'll be getting 4 8 8 16 so 2 both are minus no what symbol you have to i mean what uh, sign you have to write minus so this will be what 
minus 264x squared. Then what's the next step? You have to bring down other two terms plus 216x plus 144. Then again we have to go back to the same procedure. See this. See the quotient. What is that? 11x squared minus 9x. If you multiply both terms by 2, what will you get? 22x squared minus 18x and have to leave a gap to introduce a new term again. How should I find the new term? The first term 264, the 2 minus 264x squared should be divided by what? This first term 22x squared. So when you divide what will you get? Minus 264x squared by 22x squared. You all know x squared x squared will be cancelled naturally. But if you divide this, what will you get? 12 times the 2 minus 12 times. So I have got minus 12. Good. So I have to introduce that minus 12 both in this divisor place and in the quotient place. Are you clear? Right. Now again, I have to multiply this minus 12 with 22x squared minus 18x minus 12. See that 22 into uh, minus 12 is nothing but what? Minus 264x squared. And next, minus 12 with minus 18. It will be plus 216x. Next, minus 12 into minus 12 is nothing but what? Plus 144. Next, you have to subtract it. When you subtract all the symbols in the term will be changed. So, it is negative. So, that is plus. It is plus. Sign should be changed. Minus. This is plus. Again, minus. If I do the calculation, what will I get? Everything will be cancelled, children. The answer will be what? Zero. When you get the remainder as zero, then you have to understand. So, the given polynomial is a perfect square polynomial. Then what is the square root of the given question? 121x power 4 minus 198x cube minus 183x squared plus 216x plus 144. Of course, you remember whenever you write the question square root, answer for the square root, you have to write the answer in the modulus form. So that modulus of the quotient, what is that? 11x squared minus 9x minus 12. So this is what the square root of the given polynomial. And one more thing you have to check whether my answer is right or wrong. Check the order of the polynomial even for the square root term must be also in the correct format. x squared then x then there is no x only constant. That's all children. Now we are going to find unknown values by using the square root of polynomials in the same long division method. Now see this question. A x to the power 4 b x cube plus 361 x squared plus 220 x plus 100. What I told you in the previous class that means we have to check whether the given polynomial is in the form of the ascending order or in the descending order. I am talking about the degree of the equation. Okay, You have to check the degree of the equation is whether it is, it is in ascending order or in descending order. Now see this it is in what? Descending order that means higher degree is what? 4, 3, 2, 1 and there is no. So it is only constant. Okay. I should write as it is. But why did I write like this? See the coefficient of x to the power 4 and the coefficient of x cube or a and b some other constants unknown values. We have to find it. We don't know what it is. So that I have to change the question in the form of Reverse that means 100 plus 220x plus 361x squared plus bx cube plus ax to the power 4. Then it is very easy for me, even easy for you to find the unknown values when it is given in the last, as a last term. Okay, now we will go into the question. So 100 plus 220x. So we have to start from the 100. So as I told you in the previous sum, you have to leave the questions. You have to pair the question into two terms. That means from your right take this two pair and then two pair, th this pair and at last you are getting 100. So only for the 100 you have to find the square root. What is the square root of 100? Correct, 10. So you have to write 10 here and in the quotient place. 
then you have to multiply with that 10 into 10 100 then we have to subtract when you subtract you have to change the symbol so that this will be cancelled then you have to bring down next two terms together that means 220x plus 361x squared then what is the next step how should I find see the quotient is 10 that should be multiplied with what 2 you will get 20 that should be written here then I have to leave a gap so for what to introduce a new term that new term how you are going to find you are going to divide this 220x by 20 what will you get 220x should be divided by 20 means this term will be 0 I mean 0 0 will be cancelled then it will be what 11 so that you are getting 11x there is no change in the variable x is x only so I am just introducing 11x in this place as well as in the quotient place also then what should I do this 11x should be multiplied by these two terms 11 into 20 it is nothing but what 220 and x is there and 11 into 11 and see the sign also plus into plus plus 11 into 11 121 x squared are you clear about it yes correct next what should I do I have to subtract it when you subtract you have to change the symbol so that first term will be cancelled and see this is plus and this is minus that means one term is in, uh, positive and one term is a negative means you have to subtract it when you subtract what will you get what will you get of course 240 that means 0 4 2 x squared then what's the next term bring down the last two terms so in this terms only we are going to find the unknown values okay that means plus b x cube plus a x to the power 4 then again I have to come back to the quotient place multiply the 2 with that then I have to write here 10 twos are 20 11 twos are 22 x you just leave a place here to find the new term okay how should I find this 240 x squared should be divided by this 20 so that you will be getting 240 x squared by 20 0 0 will be cancelled and this is nothing but what 12 12 x squared that should be written here 12 x squared and in the quotient place also now again I am coming back to the quotient I am just multiplying this 12 x squared with these three terms what will I get 12 into 20 we all know 240 x squared next 22 into 12 is nothing but what 264 x squared into x is nothing but what x cube next 12 into 12 144 x squared into x squared x to the power 4 now the last step is we have to subtract all those terms from this term when you subtract you have to change the symbol everything is positive that's why I have written negative sign next these two will be cancelled because it is same term right next how should I find b and a value because I don't know what I have to do right see this is x cube and this is x cube what's the coefficient of x cube b here what's that 264 so I should write this is nothing but I, I should not write here anything because see the question I am coming back to the question find the value of a and b if the given polynomial is a perfect square so in the question itself it is given the polynomial is a perfect square when will we, uh, when we will say it is a perfect square when the remainder is 0 of course the remainder is 0 when the remainder is 0 means everything will be 0 no children yes of course that means bx cube minus 264x cube will be what 0 so x cube is common that's why I am writing here b minus 264 is equal to 0 b minus 264 of x cube is 0 why I am writing because the question is what perfect square root since the polynomial is a perfect square that's why I am writing 0 
b minus 264 of x square is 0 means it's nothing but b minus 264 is equal to 0. Then what is b? 264. Now you got the answer for one unknown value. Then coming to the next one, a minus 144 of x to the power 4 is also 0. That means a minus 144 is equal to 0. So value of a is what? 144. So we got the solution at last. Therefore, so what are the values of that a and b? a is equal to 144 and b is equal to 264. So it's very easy no children? Of course. See this question children. This is one kind of question. So here also we are going to find the unknown values m and n. So I am reading the question listen. Find the value of m and n if the given polynomial is a perfect square. Now before we go to the sum we have to check whether it is in the order. That means degree must be in the ascending order or in the descending order. Of course it is given as x to the power 4 minus x 8x cube plus mx squared plus nx plus 16. It is in the order. So no need to change it. But in the previous question why did I change? In the beginning itself unknown values a and b is given. If it is at last it will be easy to get the answer. That's why we have changed the order. But in this question the unknown values are in the middle of the question. If I change it is in a reverse order it will not be changed. M and N will be in the same place only. So no need to change the question. So this is what the difference between this question and the previous question. Okay. I am just going to take the question as it is which is given in the book. So x to the power 4 minus 8x cube plus mx square plus nx plus 16. I told you already you all know I think you have started very good. So the last two terms should be paired up. Next two terms should be paired up. At last I have only x to the power 4. So what is the square root of x to the power 4? Correct. This is what? x squared. So you have to write in both places x squared x squared. So if you multiply what will you get? x to the power 4. Then as usual subtraction. You have to change the symbol then subtract it. It will be cancelled. Then bring down the next two terms minus 8x cube plus mx square. Next what should I do? Good. So that quotient should be multiplied with 2. See there is no coefficient. It's only variable x. So that means x squared. That should be multiplied by 2. I will be getting 2x squared and leave a gap to introduce the next term. How should I find? Minus 8x cube should be divided by 2 x squared minus 8x cube by 2x squared. So 2 and 8 will be cancelled and sign will be there that is 4. x squared x squared will be cancelled there will be only x. That is why I will be getting minus 4x here. I should pose the same minus 4x in the quotient place also. So that you will be getting x squared minus 4x in the quotient place. Now I am taking minus 4x and multiplying these two terms what will I get? minus into plus minus 4 twos are 8 x into x squared x cube next minus into minus plus 4 fours are 16 x into x x squared are you clear good next the same procedure have to change the symbol if you change it will be cancelled that is what 0 and what about this I don't know what is the number for m. So what should I do? I should do, I should write as it is what is in the question. That means m minus 16 of x squared. That's all. So no worry about it. You will be getting the answer very easily in the same using the same procedure. That's all. As usual we are going back to the procedure. The last two terms should be bring down that is nx plus 16. Then I have to come to the quotient place, multiply 2. So 2 into x squared, 2x squared, 2 into 4 minus 8x. Then what number will be here to get m and n value? What number? Can you guess? Okay. Now listen. See, this term should be the last constant. See the quotient? First x squared, then minus 4x. Then definitely we all know very well about that constant. 
see the last term 16 so what number if I take I'll be getting 16 if I get 4 if I take 4 you'll be getting 16 that's why I'm introducing 4 here can you understand now multiply the same 4 with this term 4 twos are 8 x squared then plus into minus minus 4 eights are 32 x and as usual plus into plus plus 4 fours are 16 since the given polynomial is what perfect square listen since the given polynomial is a perfect square when we will say the perfect square of course it is reminder is zero the reminder must be zero the reminder is zero so if we all know the reminder is what zero if the reminder is zero everything will be what zero so what should I do next m minus 16 of minus because when I subtract then only I will be getting the remainder 0. When I subtract I should change the symbol here. So it will be minus and it will be plus and this will be minus. These two terms will be cancelled. You all know very about very well about it. So only these two terms I have to take. m minus 16 minus 8. m minus 16 minus 8 of x squared equal to 0. That means m both are minus that's why the answer will be I mean the term will be what 24 of x squared equal to 0 as we did in the previous answer the same procedure m minus 24 will also be 0 therefore m value is what 24 now you got the answer for one unknown value I'm coming to the next n minus 32 of x n minus 32 of x is also 0. So, n minus 32 is also 0. n is equal to what? 32. Is it simple so? Of course. Right. Therefore, the solution is m equal to 24, n equal to 32. So, this is what the answer. So, I think you all understood very well. So, we will see in the next class. Thank you.